Welcome back to another video on damage assessment using machine learning. This video is inspired by our past videos, which you haven't seen, feel free to check out. What we did in past videos and what brings us here today is we've annotated, collected, and generated data sets for machine learning. Our data set specifically deals in damage assessment and how in disaster recovery, there is a need to identify, describe, and really understand what is damage to structures and to architecture and to buildings. So with our da damage data set created, we are going to upload and test and train all of those pieces on Google Collab's platform. Just like RoboFlow, Google Collab is browser-based and it's free and it's user-friendly. There are other machine learning algorithms integrated into Google Pro. What I've done is altered a very specific algorithm and a notebook so that you can follow along without any introductory knowledge into machine learning and coding. I, as a machine learner, really needed tools like Google Collab to understand how to go about the steps and the processes to take a neural network, to take machine learning, and get to the final result of damage detection. So let's begin by just noting Google Collab is going to understand only a certain set of languages and coding languages. So what you need to do is make sure that whatever we're using in terms of formats or language, that it aligns with Google Collab. The other thing is notebooks are pre-designed and predetermined ahead of time. If you'd like to free code this and you are at that point in your coding journey, go at it. Feel free to train your own. I, however, am going to leverage this tutorial and integrate some very specific steps in the process. So looking at this Google Collab notebook, we can see a few things. One, we see the pipeline again from upload to annotate to train. Right now in this notebook, what we're going to be doing is training and deploying our model. So what we'll do is as we go through this notebook, we will update with our own information, integrate our data set that we created from RoboFlow, and finally train on the YOLO v5 algorithm. The YOLO v5 algorithm, for those who don't know, is an object detection algorithm. What that means is it will take certain points in an image to detect and determine an object's location in an image and what the, look, what the image what the object is actually. What this means is if you have an image of a fruit basket, it will be able to identify whether that is an apple or a grape or a banana. For our purposes, we want an image from the street level view and we want it to be able to identify homes and architecture and buildings and assess how damaged they are. You can find this model either on our GitHub, which is customized, or by searching custom training with YOLO model. This specific notebook is organized for our purposes, so let's get started. The first steps to actually running and executing and training machine learning is to install the requirements and the coding and the language that is needed to really understand what's going on. With Google Collab, instead of typing or changing anything, all we have to do is click a button. Now, this is a notebook authored by Google, and it's going to take some of our data. I'm going to run it anyway for the purposes. If you are doing this for business or for other purposes, make sure that this is an environment you are able to use. So as we can see here, in real time, we see our code and all its executions unfolding before us. This step is installing YOLO, it's installing the GitHub, where if you want to find more out about the YOLO backbones and what the YOLO algorithm really means, and look underneath the hood, definitely navigate to this link here, which I'll also link below. So here we go, everything is set up. You can skip some of the error requirements. Do note that a check mark at the top is a, the number one way to know that you have executed the code correctly. Any X's means that something is wrong in either your code or the data you're potentially using. Now we're going to set up our environment that will allow, it's like a, an empty folder that we will slowly put our data into. So we'll hit play 